he assigned the new spell Expelliarmus causes it disarms wands so let's go ahead and instead of that one let's do that there there we go pretty good there so let's go ahead and have a look here at let's see herbology class the girl from Agadu the dandelion keys I have eight last ones round three spell combination practice Venomous Valor. Let's do this one. And then on the way. Off on another adventure, are we? All right. Let's have a look around. I heard something. Hmm. In Herbology Corridor. Interesting. Alright, let's keep going. Find the Hidden Herbology Horror Corridor. I, this literally does feel like something that you, I would play from Skyrim. To be honest. Oh, there looks like... There's a quest... Here. Revelio. Oh, there, there it is. Hello. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Perhaps I'll take a look. Time I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you can. Yeah, let's go to quests. Look at all these quests. Here it is, there's the key. Hey, take me to the door, please. Down here. There we are. Boom. Unlock you up. So I need... Well. Seven. Seven more, yeah. Again, thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that, and now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's... That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I'd collect the books and remove the charm myself. 
Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. If I have the time. I suppose I could help if I had the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Alrighty. Well, I might as well collect them since I'm here. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio, reading. Got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion. Akio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. <laughs> I get the reader diary. Today was a good day, that is, until Gear Splash, whatever ridiculous concoction he was curating out of my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace, thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he was a Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I brought Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more par partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. There's one. There should be one more. I think I saw it. Over here. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Okay, but right before I do that, however, let me go ahead and do get Lumos really quick. Lumos. Not that. And I can go ahead and grab the little thing here quickly since I'm in here. Follow me, little one. It's alright, little one. There we go. Field guy page. 22 out of 25. Alright, let's go ahead back to Chris, 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 yeah, to her. Let's head on up. Where's Cressida? Right up here. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. 
Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go to quests. Actually, let's untrack. Move waypoint. Quests. So I got a bunch of quests here. The Vemir's Valor, I feel like that's the one I need to work on now. Ooh. There's a secret door behind the owl's post. Right in here. Let's go ahead and go in here. Grab another, grab another one of the pages here. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. There's another field page. Broken broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Warden Abbey, and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar. Apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Let's go to the herbology area here. Here we are. Looks like it's gonna be over here. Fields guy. Goombas, Goombas are magical fly insects that produce a, a treacle which will cause medicine if it consumed. Looks like I need to go down a level. Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Hmm. There we go. That's what if I use incendio on this? Maybe yeah, I think I have to wait until nighttime for that. It in her bird herbology corridor. Ooh. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Hmm. Ain't nothing there. It's fine, that's fine. Imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Seems the devil snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio. Send 
Hmm. Nothing over here, really. Grab some of these coins. Greenhouse there's that's the exit to the greenhouse. Looks like there's nothing else in here. Let's get out of here. To, let's go to the greenhouse. For now. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Danger of plums, this orange reddish fruit. Orange reddish, so it's some sort of orange reddish fruit. Let's grab some of these. Anything else? No. So I can pick this up. Boom, another chest with some coins. I mean, since I'm right here, might as well complete the class. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. <laughs> now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh no. I know where this is going. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Took enveloping the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. <coughs> Very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature. <coughs> There go the dogs. You can all get started. Rebellio.
Now, right before I do talk, let's grab these plants and pair the. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They are as sweet as can be, and no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be much higher quality, from bitter root to berries. I hope you do my knees can learn the skill. Yeah, you got it. I I nearly went deaf. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Alright, let's go back. My staff is long enough. These restorative properties make it a vital in the Wigan Well potion. As you <coughs> Oh ma'am. Yes. Would you have M and M's or Oreos? M and M's. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in the Wigan Wealth Potion. Ooh. I know Professor Sharp. Don't worry about that. Now, what say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Mm. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses. Outside of a question. Oh. Cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good job. Yes, Professor. They're in the other It's just a bit of which leading us to this one. Your classmate, Mr. Pirate, is coming to the classroom. Come back to see you and your and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese pumpkin cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Hmm. Okay. Work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. He's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, here we are. Home of the Chinese. Go on. Now, see that dog? Just toss the cabbage. Let's grab all these cabbages. Hold tab. Oh, I hold tab to open a wheel. This is a Induist potion. Hmm. And then press. Okay. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid boots using bounce bulbs. The kind of plants that can have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is for cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dog True. Death Cap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too. Once your parents have plants in the garden. <laughs> anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Friend. 
I tell you the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Ooh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. All right. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy chatting with my new students. Herbology class is done. Oh, that was just about that mission. Okay, it's a new quest available. Let's see what we got here. We got bunch. So we got the cross wands round three. And dandelion keys. Potions class. Mmm. Let's go to Duncan. I've always said you travel. There's only one common rebellion. Looks like there is one though. Can't go in there yet. Okay. He is right in here. There he is. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Happy to help. Take it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's e dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's e dunking for me. There we go. Level 13. Alrighty. Let's see here. What else do we got? We got more quests. We have to go from Uwegador. A 10 potions class. The dandelion keys. That young'un's now a teacher herself. No wonder she's not covered up by her own fangs and geranium. Hmm. Find the remaining house tokens that are around Hogwarts. Actually, let me go ahead and do this. Change Lumos for this spell. 500 tokens. Okay. Keep looking for I need it looks like I need seven more. Hmm, looks like things that is. And also have potions class. Okay, so what is this one is potions class track 
Let's go. Let's go to potions class. And on the way, if I see any of the tokens, the keys, I'll take. I'll get them. But on the way, I did notice this. Looks like I need to open my spells. Change one of my spells. Let's get rid of that one and do Levioso. There we go, Levioso's active. Rebellion. Okay, none over here. Okay. There we go. Regarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade, Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Oh, here it is. Here's one. There you are. Come on. Where do you want to take me? There you are. Boom. Boom. Doors locked. Let's head on back up. To potions class. Mandorium. Or author, from author office of Morgan and Burks. Anything else that's hidden? Yeah, ooh, we got some coins. Rebellion. Into the field. Professor Sucks Arthur Badge. Aura, sorry, Aura. Aura. Ministry of Magic Law Enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sort of threats, particularly those possessed by dark magic. The Arthur Badge belongs to Professor, Professor Sharp. Let's do this class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Yes. All right. <laughs> Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Boom. Crush. Be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. A uh, how come? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. 
Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Alrighty. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, you're correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Oh no. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an endurous potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I'll get you the feather. I'll bring you a whooper feather. If I get in chill, it's on him. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. stations organized and free of clutter here's the whopper feather you wanted brilliant thank you this is going to take a moment to brew you should get back to brewing your endurance potion and i'll tell you when this concoction's finished i feel like i, I made a deal with the devil should you chop the dipney or crush it wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows in you do i suppose that enhances the drinker's defenses by covering them with a durable rocky skin Sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it. Oh. Dragon done. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh, Weas- oh, You got me in trouble, Weasley. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Yes. As for the work you did today, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Yet. To having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Okay. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Hear that? <laughs> Of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me into trouble. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. 
Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. <laughs> I am not gonna risk that. Missing uh, horklum juice. I'm missing horklum juice. Ugh, my robes are going to reap rebellion. Inspiration. Rest assured. Now I feel bad. Handy resource indeed. So, yeah, that one looks like it's been done. What? Well, what's this way? Rebellion. It's up there, I think. Okay, let's go to this tower then. This area, the, the castle of Hogwarts. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Let's go this way. Quad courtyard. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Levioso. Get this parchment. Let's go ahead and go to my quests. Not my quest, was it collections? Challenges, I think. Okay. Combat room of requirement. I love how this area is like literally has nothing. Hmm. I'm just on this side. This must, I think this is, yeah, this is the, um, the great halls right in there. Alrighty. There's the chest. There it is. You know, the parchment. The yawning gargoyle. Although the smoke breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it is actually the Hufflepuff common room chimney.
Nothing there. Let's keep looking. Um. Hmm. So I'll check. Let me do area by area, just because. Nothing over here. Hmm. No only other place I can think of around here. Let's keep looking around the tower. Revenue. I already went into the frog earlier. I can't go in there yet. Might be something at the top of the top of here. Hmm. Let's keep going up. If there is something, it's probably going to be in here. Or around here, that is. There's a parchment paper over here. This is a troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted, crafted for a troll that had that it has survived all of the nostalgia since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Trophy room, obviously just about cups and all that, I know that. What's this? There's another one here. Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a means of select champions for the Tritons of Chairman since the contestants established in the late 13th century. Now that would be cool to, to do and see. I need to get, I need to learn the, that type of spell, but as for right now, let's go to world, cause I need to get down here. Um, Hogwarts, um, let's travel to the entrance just so I can get there faster. Can nothing really over here much. Isn't that Hagrid's hut? Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Hagrid. And the voice actor for Hagrid. Oh. 
Here we go. Bronze Keeper's Tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be a chance to create all sorts of furnishing for a costly hut as large as the occupant may need. A chest, Wingering Potion. Perfect. I'm going to need that eventually. I feel. Oh, geez, that was bright. Um, looks like there's something down here. Risk it. Apricot juice? Perfect. I'm gonna need that. Looks like I need to use fire on it then, maybe? Ooh, it worked. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Let's so say we got a chest with a light sun hat. Looks like and then there looks like there's an arrow. I guess I'll have to come back here, but for now, that's open, so at least that's one less thing to worry about. For now, that is. Grab those moon rocks, since I'm here. And then let's go find Nelly. For now, just so I can get that taken care of and then figure out what's the next plan. Hunger's Dub Dog. I think he might be stuck. Okay. Challenge unlocked. Defeat double. Oh. Looks like I can't dive unless I'm in a certain area. Search. What's in? What did I find? I found sleek dueling gloves. Hi. It's good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Hyo are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And the dark are the pain. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from the troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hyo in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Oh? Men like Rookwood and Hyo are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. 
I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I agree. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with their students. I overheard some of Rookwood's lads talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. Alright, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Please be careful. 